Hey, what's up everyone? Jake here with JP Design Academy. And today we're back with another Flinto and Sketch tutorial. We're gonna be prototyping this awesome 3D flip transition from the Instagram app. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so let's get right into it. All right, so here we are inside of Sketch looking at three different artboards that we're going to be using to make this transition. So as you can see, there are three artboards, the first name first, second name second, third name third, very creative, I know. Um, real quick, just how I made these, this background layer, this black layer, I literally just screenshotted from the Instagram app. I just screenshotted someone's story and kind of cropped out, you know, their info and made it all black just to save some time. So I didn't have to design these icons and this message bar down here. So I did that for each of these. And then this nature picture here, um, this is a layer inside of a group that I just named story to represent, you know, the person's story. And each of these stories has the image, which I just used craft for. So real quick, I'll just demonstrate how I did that. Oops. You can just draw any shape layer and using the craft plugin, you can just click this nature icon and it'll just populate. I don't like this one. Let's try this one. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Um, cool, nice moose. You can just populate the shape with a picture. So that's what I did for each of these artboards. Then there's some user data just to represent that it's someone's story. Uh, another important thing, there's a layer on each of these on top of the nature image called overlay. And this is literally just a rectangle that's the exact same size as the image. Just a black rectangle that I faded all the way out. And this is an important layer because it's gonna make our transition a lot more realistic when we go to animate. So yeah, that's pretty much it design-wise. Pretty simple. We're only gonna be animating these three screens and these are ready to send to Flinto. So. I'll just do it again. Cool. All right, so now that we're in Flinto, there's one thing we wanna do before we actually go to animate. And that is make sure that we have consistent naming for each of our respective layers. So for example, in this first artboard, we see user, same with the second, we see user, user, and image, 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 background, 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 etc. They're all consistent. And I made sure of this in the sketch file, but this is something you guys definitely want to do, especially when you're going to reuse animations like we are in this case. So just something to keep note of. So let's revisit what we're actually trying to do here. So if we open up the preview, we want to be able to swipe right or sorry, swipe left from the right side of the first story. And as we do that, we'll get this, you know, 3D perspective flip effect. Kind of hard to explain without actually showing you, but it's in the intro video. So that's kind of what we're aiming at or aiming for. So let's draw a link from the right side of the first Instagram story and connect it to the second. And this is gonna be a left swipe and we're swiping left from the right side. So let's hit new transition. That's gonna open up the transition designer. And right off the bat, let's align the screens because we want this transition to seem like it's happening all on the same screen. And I'm also gonna hide one of these background layers just because this background layer is the exact same thing on both screens. So we only need one and this will just ensure that there's no layering issues. So let's hide one. So when we toggle, we see nothing happens. So this is actually the second story on top, right? So we want this to kind of come in from the right side, kind of flip in. So first what I'm gonna do or what I know I wanna do actually is rotate it sort of like this. This this is kind of the action we want. However, right now it's rotating on the wrong origin. It's rotating from this middle point of the X axis, of this X axis, it's rotating from here. And that's because this origin is set to 50%. So, so for example, so this 50% means it's halfway between this point and this point. So this would be zero, 50, 100 down here. So it's currently at 50. We want to change it to zero, this X coordinate. So now when we rotate upon the Y axis, you see the origin changes. So this is more what we want. So let's rotate it a little. And with this layer selected, I'm just going to hold shift and right arrow key, hold right arrow key to move it over in increments of 10. And let's just zoom in nice and tight. So there's no gap. Now it's flush with the top corner here. And now we can just rotate it all the way. So we want it 90 degrees. 
So now since it's 90 degrees, it's hidden because of the plane it's on. But you see when we go to toggle, it comes in from the right side how we want it. But one other thing we want to do is remember that overlay layer, that black overlay rectangle. We want to have that starting all the way at 100% opacity so that when it fades in, we get this nice depth effect. That's why it's there. And this is going to really help with the illusion of depth. So that's pretty awesome. And then you'll see this user data. Let's also have that fade as well. So from the start screen with user selected, we could just take the opacity all the way down. So now that is fading in as it transitions. Pretty awesome. Cool, so that one's done. And now we want the other layer, this one that's behind. We basically just want it to rotate the opposite way. So we're gonna make the origin of this one 100%. And let's rotate it a bit in the opposite direction on the Y plane. And now holding shift and left arrow key, move it over. And get it nice and tight again. Make sure it's flush with the top corner. So that looks good. And then we could just go negative 90. So it's basically hidden. And you already see we get this nice 3D perspective, but let's make sure we also change the overlay opacity to 100 at the end screen. And then this user data, we can just have it zero. So it's fading out this time. So yeah, this is looking great. It's pretty much what we want now. So that looks good. Let's just give this a name because we're going to rename this. So we can just call this 3D, oops, 3D effect. I don't know. Save and exit. So now when we go to our preview, we can swipe to complete this transition. Looking pretty dope. And then let's do a link to get back. So I'll press D on my keyboard to draw a link. And this time I'm putting it on the left side of the second artboard. And we'll, we'll just do a back arrow to go back. And the gesture this time will be right swipe because we're swiping right from the left side to go back. So now we can do this and we can do this. Pretty awesome. And then here, just draw another link. Actually, what we can do is just copy this one. Put it over here, control C, control V, and then just connect it here. And then we'll do another link from this one to go back here. And this will be a right swipe. So now we can swipe from screen to screen and we get this awesome 3D perspective effect, similar to what you see on Instagram stories. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is pretty much the tutorial. Um, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this. Please give a thumbs up, subscribe, comment with what you want to see next. And uh, yeah, happy to uh, help you guys. See you guys in the next video.